Okay, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. We are on a new body of water. This is actually a local body of water that we're at. Never been here before. They actually just recently opened up last month, early last month from being closed down for about a year. We are actually on Miramar Reservoir, Miramar Lake. This is a small body of water. Hopefully it hasn't been too pressured ever since they reopened, but gorgeous, gorgeous lake from what I see so far. I'll let you guys take a look at it with me. But yeah, really beautiful. Um, so far, I've already seen like huge bait balls around the dock area, and I haven't seen any kind of structure or anything like that. It seems like it's it's pretty featureless. A lot of tulies. The whole entire shoreline is lined with tulies. Yeah, we're gonna spend the day out here on the beautiful Miramar Reservoir for the first time. Try to break down this lake, and hopefully, we can get on some good ones. So, all right, guys, I'll see you guys at the first spot. Alright y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and so the boat dock is just right there right across the shoreline from us so not too far away um, but I wanted to fish this point right here there's like a little tule point and I've already seen some fish bust up here on some bait we're at 18 feet of water right now you can see there's actually some fish right below us which is pretty cool so oh there's some fish getting popped in right there There's one. All right. There's a fish right here, our first fish. That's the crankbait. Ooh, right in front of us too. All right. So, not a big one by any means, but definitely our first fish. And so, well, healthy looking fish. All right, first crankbait fish. Okay, so that's a good sign. They're, they're pushing bait. They're busting all up in the middle here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I can kind of choose to relate to, but I'm not seeing any kind of structure down here. It's just nothing but flat. Let's see if I could find the bait balls. There's one. Yeah, they're definitely, definitely relating to, um, these bait balls here. Well, small guy. Small guy, but he's a, uh, ooh, barely hooked too. Yeah. Small guys that are barely hooked, but these are the guys that are, these are angry, angry fish little guys that are 
It's busting up on the shed out here. Little small guy. Any of these bigger fish here. That was one in that area. Kind of just like almost in the middle of nowhere to be honest. Kind of feels like I got pretty lucky with that one. Right in the middle of nowhere. Not really relating to anything. I think they're just chasing bait balls to be honest. Yeah, not that big of a lake, to be honest. Um, really small. We actually covered the majority of the lake, honestly. We didn't fish all of it, but um, covered the majority of it already. And it's only 10 o'clock, so definitely have a lot of time to um, dissect and kind of break the, break the waters down a little bit further than what we already have. So let's go on this right side over here. It seems like there might be some stuff over here. First cast over here, huh? With the uh, first cast of the drop shot, we already got a little guy. Uh, better than what we were doing, which was nothing for two hours. Little tiny guy. All right, finally broke that two and a half hour hiatus. Not getting bit off of that one cast. Little guy, we'll take it. Oh, these smaller guys are chasing the crankbait. <laughs> Pretty cool watching these guys like chase after the bait. Bass are interesting little creatures, man, I swear. giant next to him oh my gosh dude that was a big fish that was next to him oh my god look at that look at that look at, that. Look at that other fish look at that other fish dude i don't know if you guys can see that fish I don't know if you guys saw that other fish. There was another fish that came up with this guy. He followed him. 
the reason why I was playing with this guy so much is because I was hoping that the other fish was gonna snatch the uh, snatch the bait out of this one's mouth. Dude, that was so cool. There's they're stacked over here. A little, little fish. Look at that. Look at those that pattern on that guy is beautiful. Wow. There's just some healthy fish inside here. Another one. Oh, there's one. He came up and grabbed it. <laughs> Got that front hook too. Yeah, I saw him come up and grab this one. Small little guy, little tiny guy. Okay. I had to get my lure out. I got stuck right there. Let's see if we can get any more fish though. There's one. Oh, geez. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good one. Oh, we finally got a good one, guys. We finally got a good one. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Yes! Let's go! Oh, you finally got a good one. Oh man, first cast in the new spot with the Shimano World Minnow. And this guy came up and smoked it. Finally, a good fish. Gosh, this guy fought hard too. Let's see, Let's see where he's at. Uh, I'd say about a 17. Ooh, uh, yeah, 17. No. Oh yeah, he's a 17 for sure. All right, guys, our first good fish. 17. Let's go. Oh man. Finally got a good fish. Yeah, he came out here and smoked that freaking Shimano world minnow. That was one of the fish that I think I saw over there. I was like, dude, there's there's really big fish out there. There's definitely bigger fish than what we've caught so far. I've seen them. It's just a matter of coaxing them to bite. Not even any followers. All right, let's go ahead and make a little move. See if you could find any find any fish here.
Good fish. Oh my god. Good fish, good fish. Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Whoo. Let's go. Shaky head for the win, baby. Wow, look how dark this fish is. Oh man, I goofed up that hook set. That's my bad wrist, that's why. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at this really dark. Really dark fish. Wow, that thing is like black, basically. I don't know, so red tongue there. Maybe feeding on crawfish or something, but look at that guy. It's like a black bass. It's literally black. Literally a black fish. When they're really dark like this, that's how you know these uh fish are shallow. So this guy's been shallow for a little while, but yeah, really nice. Wow. I've never seen a bass this this dark before. That's pretty crazy. Alright guys, it's like a 16, 16 and quarter, 16. Alright, it's one on the shaky head. Oh man, they freaking ripped that rod out of my hand. That's what I mean about spinning combos versus uh, bait casters is technique and the, the type of gear that you could throw on a spinning combo is obviously um, important but what a lot of people don't understand is the the different biomechanics that goes behind it like when you set the hook on this guy you're using a lot of your wrist and if you have a weak wrist like me or one that's you know recovering then this kind of hook set is gonna be a little a little more difficult for you Fish right there, first cast. Decent fish, too. Ooh. There we go. There we go. I barely got him. That's Another fish. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. A little small, little healthy guy. Small, healthy guy. Not too bad. Oh, yep. I saw him come up and grab that one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. He freaking came out of nowhere just to smoke this thing. That was a cool bite. That was a cool bite. Another little fish. A little guy.
Well, that's two for two. Let's make it, make it three for three. That'd be pretty cool. If we can get some, some good ones, see some bigger ones, that'd be nice. That's a fish. That's a small guy. Small guy, but he is a scoreable. So another one on the shaky. I don't know how big he is. What do you even what do you even measure out? Yeah, he's a 12 and a quarter. 12 12 and a quarter inch fish guys. A little small guy. But um, shaky head fish. These fish are so aggressive. Like the way that they surge is just pretty strong. That one, a little small guy. Got a little small guy. Barely got him on that top lip. Spit out something, I think he spit out some shad or something. Couldn't tell, but it's another one, small one. finish out the day over at the other other buoy line the other side of the buoy all right guys so unfortunately the front camera didn't catch our one to go but it was like a little little 12 incher not anything to brag about or anything like that but just one for the road one to uh, take home with us but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys checking out lake miramar for the first time beautiful lake small lake but definitely definitely has some nice size fish still trying to figure it out got some decent ones broke off some decent ones some decent ones came off so you know mistakes here and there but um shaking off the uh the first time blues here on uh on lake miramar but all right guys so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for joining as always thank you guys for liking subscribing joining me for my adventures on the water and i'll see you guys in the next one